In this video, we'll be reviewing a few homework problems that we've had from the last few weeks. Now, these first six problems are going to ask us to solve for a missing variable. And so I'm going to begin with solving the odds, the odd number, so 1, 3, and 5. And then I'll also go over one or two of these word problems as well. So we're going to start off by number 1. And originally we have 4x plus 3x equaling 28. Now, the first thing I have to check is, are all of my like terms combined? And I can see that they're not, because I have 4x over here and 3x over here. So I'm going to combine those terms, those terms and turn it into 7x equaling 28. Now that I have my coefficients on one side and my constants on another, or as you guys know it, the bags on one side and the coins on one another, on another side, we're going to divide by 7. So I can see that my variable x is equal to 4. Next, on number 3, you can see that we have a, co or a constant of 10 plus a co coefficient of 7, e, minus 5 equals 2e. Now, when we combine like terms in here, it's important to pay attention to the sign of the numbers that we're combining. Here, we have a positive 10 as a constant. We have another positive coefficient of 7, and here we have a negative constant of 5. So when I combine my constants of 10 and 5, it's actually going to combine them by subtracting. 10 minus 5 is going to give me 5 plus 7e equals 2e. Now, what I want to do here is, again, I want to make sure that I have my constants and my coefficients on opposite sides. So I'm actually going to subtract by 7e on both sides. So my coins or my constants will be on the left. My coefficients will be on the right. So I'm going to have 5 equaling negative 5e. And when I divide by my coefficient of negative 5, I'll see that my value of e is equal to negative 1, because 5 divided by negative 5 is going to give me negative 1. Now, for number 6, I have negative 3 times the set of 5r plus 10 equaling 30. Now here I need to pay attention when I distribute my negative 3 because I need to take into account that negative value. So first I multiply it by 5r and then negative 3 times 10r. I'm sorry, just 10. So negative 3 times 5r will give me negative 15r. And because I'm multiplying a negative times a positive here, I'm actually going to have minus 30 equaling 30. Now, what we have to take into account here is, remember, when we want to cancel some coins, or in this case, a constant, I need to use the opposite operation. In this case, we're subtracting by 30, so in order to get rid of the, or in order to cancel these coins, this constant, I actually need to add by 30 on both sides. So once I do that, I'll have negative 15r equaling 60, and then this is the point where I can divide my coefficient uh, from my constant. So I'll divide negative 15r by negative 15. I'll do the same with 60. I'll get that r is equal to negative 4. Now, in our word problems, there's a couple things you have to take into account, one of which is the rate of change, another of which is the constant value, maybe a bonus value or a starting point, and then what we need to reach or what we need to equal. So I can see here, Chase Building Company is making a new tower. The first floor is 12 feet tall, and every month, Chase Building Company builds 7 more feet onto the building. So I know that there's a rate of change of 7. I know that they started with 12 feet, and the building has to reach 75 feet in order to be complete. Now, in order to create an equation based off of this, what I'll need to do is I'll need to think, well, how often is uh, the rate of change happening? I know that it's every month and that's seven more feet. So I'm gonna say that seven M plus that 12 feet from the first floor is going to equal 75. Now I'll wait for my ink to show up. There we are. So again, we have seven M plus 12 equaling 75. And just like last time I would going to subtract by my constant first. 
I get 7m is equal to 63. I'll just divide both sides by my coefficient of 7. I'll get that m equals 9. So it'll take nine months for the building to be complete. In our next example, Heritage Middle School is starting a fundraiser to help those in Flint. They decided to start selling hot chips. Each bag is $2, but they spent $47 in supplies. In order to reach their goal, they have to raise $267. So I know that one bag per bag is going to be $2. And they've already spent $47, so that's a negative amount because they're in debt that much. But they still need to raise $267. Now remember, when we have subtraction, the only way to get rid of this constant is by adding that value. So I'm going to add 47 to both sides. My 47 will cancel out. I'll be left with 2b equaling 314. So now I'll divide both sides by my coefficient of 2 and I'll get that the number of bags is equal to 157. So in order to, for them to reach their goal of 267, they need to sell 157 bags. Now lastly, we have an example featuring the lime tree. We know the lime tree originally was three feet tall. It grows, I'm gonna highlight that grows part because I know that's a positive value. It grows by two feet each year and it won't, produ won't produce quality limes until it's 17 feet tall. So I know my rate of change is going to be 2 feet a year, so I'm going to say 2y. The tree was originally 3 feet tall, and it needs to be seven feet, 17 feet tall. So, as you can probably tell, we'll subtract by our constant. We'll have 2y equaling 14. Divide both sides by my constant, and I'll get that it will take 7 years for that tree to produce quality limes. Do you have any other questions about the homework or about the assessment coming up on the uh, fourth of this month? Please let me know and I'll be glad to help you.